In today's discussion, I'd like to explore the nuanced world of asset valuation, particularly how it can be manipulated or even deteriorated through certain economic practices. This topic is especially pertinent given the recent history of the U.S. economy, which has witnessed significant shifts due to unconventional monetary policies and regulatory responses to crises such as the pandemic. During the pandemic, we saw a series of reactions, ranging from rent and mortgage moratoriums to massive monetary injections into a dormant economy. While these steps may have stemmed from well-intentioned policy decisions, they inadvertently laid the groundwork for the complex economic challenges we face today. One of the profound changes brought about by the pandemic was the shift to remote work, leading to a surplus of vacant office spaces. These spaces, once lucrative assets, have become burdensome liabilities. In an effort to mitigate these impacts, additional funding was channeled into these non-performing assets. However, this raises critical questions about the future profitability of these assets and the broader implications for the banking sector. In the housing market, the pandemic's ripple effects were similarly complex. Homeowners were encouraged to seek mortgage relief, while rent moratoriums disrupted the usual income streams for landlords. Simultaneously, historically low interest rates led to inflated property valuations and escalated production costs. This situation has now culminated in a housing affordability crisis, exacerbated by regulatory and production costs, which hinder the ability to meet the escalating demand for housing. In this context, mortgages with low interest rates have become assets in themselves, with homeowners incentivized to retain these properties. This dynamic illustrates the broader theme of how short-term economic measures can distort asset values and market realities. However, within this landscape of economic upheaval and asset value distortion lies significant opportunity for astute investors and entrepreneurs. The current situation presents a unique chance to revitalize underperforming properties, transforming them into economically viable assets that respond to current market demands. This is a call to action for genuine capital formation, driven by productive means rather than fleeting monetary policies. This has been Anne with Fulford Lending. Thank you for watching.